Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this quick tutorial, I'll be demonstrating some simple and effective ways to clear all caches in Windows 11, 10, 8 or even Windows 7 if you still run it. Caches are memory locations that store temporary data and files that may be needed again for related operations in the future. Over time, such files begin to accumulate and take up substantial amount of disk space and in some cases start affecting some Windows operations and slowing down your computer. So it's advisable to clear your caches from time to time. A general recommendation is once or twice a month for an average everyday user. And if you are a heavy user with so many applications and processes, then you might consider clearing your caches even more often than that. More so if you observe some malfunctioning or an overall slow performance in Windows then it might be time to clear your caches. To do that, we'll be running some simple commands to reveal temporary files from different locations in Windows so we can delete them. We'll be using the run dialog box to execute each of these commands. To open the run dialog box, simply press Windows plus R key from your keyboard. And that should pop up just above your search area. For the first command here, type in TEMP as shown on the screen and hit enter. Now you should have this folder pop up with a bunch of files you probably can't identify. Simply press Ctrl A to select all and then hold down your shift key and press delete to permanently remove them. And if you get a message saying certain files can't be deleted, simply click on the checkbox that says do this for all current items and then click skip to proceed. And that was the first command. The second command is similar to the first, but this time you place it between two percentage signs. So go back to the run dialog box and type percentage TEMP percentage and hit enter. You should see another folder pop up with a different set of strange files. Here, just like we did before, press Ctrl A to select all. And while holding down the shift key, hit the delete button to permanently remove them. And now for the third command, we go back to the run dialog box and type the command prefetch as shown on the screen and hit enter. Here, click on continue. Again, you will have another folder like this. Select all using Ctrl A, hold down the shift key and then hit delete to remove them. Now for the final command, open the run dialog box once again and type the command clean MGR as shown on the screen and hit enter. Now this will open your disk cleanup utility. For the current Windows 11 version I have, it automatically selects your C drive where Windows is installed and pre-lists the temporary files. Now for older versions including Windows 10, 8 or 7, it will first prompt you to select your intended drive. So if you have installed your Windows on another drive other than the C drive, then you can use the drop down to select it and then hit OK to continue. Afterwards, you should have a window like this with a list of temporary files and folders. Here select all the files by checking the boxes next to each of them. Then click on clean up system files and wait for the process to run. Here again, select all these locations by checking the boxes next to them. Hit OK. And then hit Delete Files and wait for the process to complete. Once again, it's advisable to perform this process every once in a while, depending on how much you use your PC and the kind of applications you run. That way, such temporary files don't accumulate over time and begin to slow down your Windows. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for updates on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.